Hey guys, my name is Daniel here with TGN and today I'm going to show you the cool Mayo armband which is a new device which has been in development for a while and I finally got it after a year and a half of waiting after my pre-order and it tracks your muscle movements and muscle frequencies to actually allow you to control your computer, your Android phone, your iPhone phone, um, and other devices. And let's start with the talking and let's start with the showing what it is. Um, so to put it on, all you do is just look for the little cool blinking logo. Of course, once it's charged, you put it on your arm and you put it halfway uh, right before it gets too thick where it gets uncomfortable to wear and it's up there enough where if you shake your hand, it doesn't uh, fall off. Um, once you put it on, that's really it. Uh, to, once you have the initial software installed, to activate it, all you do is swipe right, it vibrates, and on your computer, you see that it is synced. Uh, to do a quick setup, all you have to do, if this isn't working or you wanted to see how to set it up, I'll just do the initial um, starting guide, which shows you how to use it and it's really easy to use once you install the software. And just so you know, it does cost $199.99, um, which is after the pre-order. Um, so they have videos on how to put it on, they have videos on how to sync it. Like I said, it's just doing this. And then they, uh, there you go. And it even knows you're on the right arm, it's really cool. So to unlock it, you just double tap and then you do whatever gesture you want to do to control your device you're using. I like how they implemented this unlocking feature so if you're wearing it and you're jogging it doesn't keep changing song whenever you move your hand to the right or to the left or you open your hand to pause or play music. Um, so right now I'm just um, going through the uh, setup. And the one thing I did notice is that it doesn't like to uh, do the grab and control feature. This is a really early release device, it's first gen. Um, so it's still not perfect and they're still coming up with a ton of updates. So if it doesn't work properly here, don't sweat it. Uh, it's brand new and they're gonna definitely uh, fix these bugs. Um, so just to show you how this actually works, I'll double tap and then it just flashed real quick. I'll spread my fingers, I'll wave right, to reset it wave right <laughs> I'll wave left and I'll make a fist and like there we go and I'll start off by uh, using Spotify to show you how cool it is to be able to play Paul's change songs if you're walking in the house or dorm room I'm in college right now I'm actually on my winter break so when I go back to college this Sunday I'm gonna definitely bring this in my dorm room I can now listen to Spotify and study where I don't have the computer in front of me, but I can have the computer plugged into my surround sound stereo system, and I can be taking notes, doing homework, whatever, and I just play music like this. So without further ado, I'll open Spotify. I already installed the main application, and from there there's a, a market basically where you just install free drivers for the device, really straightforward, and allows it to work. Um, so if you want to play music, all you do is just double tap to unlock the computer and then you do the gesture. And just so you'll see in a second, when I double tap, on the bottom right it says ready. Only for two or three seconds, then it locks it. So you have to do it quick. So I'll double tap and then I'll open my hand and then it should play the music. And here you go. If you want to pause it, same thing. Double tap and then open your hands. And then it's good. Then it's just locked, you could do whatever you want, and it doesn't start doing things to the music. If you want to change a song, you just swipe right. So I'll double tap, then swipe right. And here's the new song. If you want to change the volume, you double tap to unlock it, make a fist, and then you pull it up to bring their volume up, or bring it down to lower the volume. And like I said, it doesn't always like my double my uh, fist for some reason, so it doesn't always work. Here we go. And you'll see on the uh, computer screen how it's going up or down. And I'll pause it. PowerPoint works in Word. Well, not Word. It works in PowerPoint. It works in Prezi. It works on internet, so you can scroll up and scroll down. And there's even games that control things with this or whatever you like. 
Um, so next, why did I do that? <laughs> so I'm gonna close Spotify and then I'll open PowerPoint. Um, if you want to do this, you just create a presentation and it's a really cool wow feature if you're presenting in front of a board of people, or your classmates, you have this thing on, they're like, what's this? And you start presenting just by flicking your wrist or whatever. Unlock it, swipe to the right. And there's one slide. Unlock it. Next slide. And so on. And just picture yourself standing up. Um, this is just a quick demo on this. Uh, I know it's not perfect. I just got this, just started to use it. So I guess I will get used to it um, when I use this more often. I could definitely picture myself using this if I need a presentation in college. Uh, sure, it's going to look weird, but it's going to definitely be a wow factor, and kids are going to think it's really cool how you're not holding a remote like everyone else is. Uh, I guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I haven't made a video in a while, so please don't forget to like this, comment what you think of this, will you be buying this for 200 bucks, or do you think it's just another useless piece of crap I bought? And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. This is Dan with TGN, or J-Bay-Bay, J-Bay-Bay. Enjoy.